Hello YouTube. Let me share with you a device I created to measure electromagnetic fields. Um, in a second I'll demonstrate to you how it works, but here's the setup. You have a laser that is shining on a mirror that is suspended inside this pipe. The pipe protects it from um, wind and breezes and so forth and helps it settle down. You can see that image of it there. It's a first surface mirror uh, wedged onto this thread by two small magnets. So we have magnets attached to a mirror suspended on a thread and that beam then is projected back to a target. You can see the target there. Now the good thing about this is we get off of the mirror, we get the law of reflection, which is going to uh, give us greater sensitivity. And also we get the fact that we can run that beam out as far as necessary. So it makes for a pretty sensitive, low frequency electromagnetic wave detector. And so we'll start off with 15 feet and we'll work our way out. Okay, I am 15 feet away from the sensor and you can see the setup before me. This is a um, Harbor Freight ceramic magnet 15 feet away. It's, this magnetic field goes all the way there. Look at that. 15 feet away, this field is interacting with the other field. Depends a lot on the angle. Sometimes if you like that angle works pretty well there. Now let's put another one with it and see if it matters. Here's two of them. I think it kind of helps a little bit. You can see when I hit it, there it goes. That's 15 feet away. Look at that, 15 feet away. So the magnetic fields go well beyond what you see with those metal filings. The magnetic fields go pretty far. Uh, 15 feet there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to, I guess because I'm here, I'll try that bigger magnet, but we know the bigger magnet's going to work here. So this bigger magnet just really, at 15 feet, the bigger magnet you know, does quite a good job. Let's move this back and go to the next distance. Okay, YouTube, we're now uh, twice as far as we were before. This is 30 feet now. 30 feet away, you're looking, you know, the camera's behind the target. You're seeing the laser shining through the paper. Uh, you can clearly see the target. So here's the one, uh, one ceramic magnet from uh, Harbor Freight. I remember at 15 feet, we got a good move. So we're getting some at 30 feet. 30 feet. Now when I move the target back, that also makes this more sensitive because the laser is farther away. But you can see there's, there's a relationship between the movement of the magnet here and the magnet there. Now let's try two. Two might be a little better, yeah. Two is better. Now that look at that. That's 30 feet away. And I've got a substantial movement with two ceramic magnets from Harbor Freight. This thing's really sensitive. It's an excellent um, field detector. Electromagnetic field detector. Here are four of them. I don't know if we're gonna see a big improvement with four or not. When you, if you try this, you're going to find a lot of it depends upon the orientation of the magnet. Sometimes, and sometimes they cancel out too if you get two of them. I think maybe sometimes it's better to have odd numbers. Let's try Let's try an odd number. Maybe that's the key there. There 
there's three. Three really is not working any better than two. Here's back to two. I think the deal with two is I can kind of move them better. You get it in sync and yeah. We can see clear movement there. Okay. Now let's try the big magnet. Or the bigger magnet. This isn't like a giant magnet, but it's a it's a nice size magnet. And you can see at 30 feet, it really gets things moving. 30 feet away. Now we're gonna go back to 60 feet. Okay, we're now at 60 feet. Here's the single ceramic magnet. I expect at some point this isn't going to do it anymore, but let's see. I can kind of see maybe a little bit there. Ceramic magnet at 60 feet. I'm seeing some. I'm seeing some definite movement at 60 feet. Um, I know I've said it before, but it, if you play with it and you get the right orientation, let's try two at 60 feet ceramic magnets. Getting some movement there. I wouldn't say any better though than the one. I think maybe it cancels, I'm not sure. Yeah. 60 feet, it's moving in relationship to this magnet. Look at that. If you get it, it's hard. It may not look that difficult on here, but it's actually kind of hard to spin these in the right way. So there's that. Let's try four back here. I know last time, well, let's try three. I've got, I got a third one here. Let's try three. I'm not so sure three's doing any better. It's moving. Sometimes if you get that kind of in sync too to where it get kind of like a harmonic oscillator deal. You can see it moving there with this in relationship to this. Let's try the bigger one. Okay, here's the bigger magnet at 60 feet. Uh, this one works better if you rotate it like this. And you can see the bigger one gets going right away. 60 feet away. Now I'll tell you the truth about this bigger one. I got, <coughs> my daughter was on the phone. Uh, we kept in phone contact. I took the big magnet and I walked it across the street to the next block over and she, we picked it up by moving it like this. So magnetic fields are much bigger than I thought. You know, you see those filings and so forth, and they're much bigger. Now let's try, the next step is going to be magnetic fields, or electromagnetic fields generated by electricity. Um, so they're all kind of one field. Magnetic field and, electro, and electric fields are they're closely related. We just call them electromagnetic fields. So this is 60 feet. Let's um, go back in there and try... Um, some electricity and see if we can get it to uh, work there too. Okay YouTube, here's the next experiment. I'm 11 feet away from the um, detector at this point. just want to show you the setup I have here. I just ran a simple wire up a 2x4 to a loop, came down, put a little tap switch on it and have leads coming off of it so that I can um, you know, hook up different power sources to it. Now I'm going to move the camera back behind the target 
so we can see the whole setup. And I'm going to try to reach around and tap that uh, and put a uh, power source on it. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm going to do something to show you. I'm tapping on this table. You hear me slapping on that table there? None of that's really moving this, so you need to know it'll it'll shake that target, but the the laser and everything else is on a separate table. The laser's on its own table, and the uh, mirror's on its own table. So just so you know, it's not because I'm shaking the table. So let's see now. I'm going to hit the switch. Let's see. I see something. I don't know if you do, but I do. See it? You kind of, you can play with it. You can get it in the same cadence and you can kind of get it to work with itself. So it's kind of like pushing somebody in a swing. You know, if you know when to push the, uh, with, the, with the electric one, you can kind of time when you push it. But we're getting a electric magnetic signal wave pickup 11 feet away from a 9 volt battery on a single loop wire. Just, you know, the wire is probably a total length of maybe 5 feet and just zip cord, um, one half of the zip cord. So, I don't know about you, I, it's, I find that interesting. So now let's um, try another one. Okay, YouTube, I have now at 11 feet, we have another setup. I've got a single double um, A battery you can see it over there by the ink bin uh, hooked up to the wire loop so then we got a steady dot right now and remember if I tap on the table or tap on the board it doesn't move that dot because the dots on a different table and so is the laser the, the paper will blow around a little bit but that dot will pretty much I mean if I hit it hard enough I might be able to affect the other table but here we go okay steady dot I'd say nothing. Huh? Yeah, we got something. Yeah. I, on this switch, too, I have to... It's a homemade switch, so it doesn't always... Yeah, we got action there. That's a one, one AA battery running through a wire loop 11 feet away. And this system picks it up. That's pretty good. I don't know if you saw that. If you can see it very well in there, but I can.